So welcome back. Today I'm gonna actually take you along with me. This is the last weekend of the year in December, December 30th. And I am heading out to the farmhouse. Saturday. I did sleep in. I didn't sleep well last night, so woke up a little late, but got my first cup of coffee and my routines that I do in the morning. And I have my second cup of coffee with me to go. And I have about a half an hour of drive to get to the farmhouse. So as you may have seen from my previous videos, I've been working on the stairs. And because of the holidays and also because I wasn't feeling so well uh, due to some cold, I actually did not do any work on the stairs for a while now. So my goal was to finish the stairs this year. So I got two days to do that. And hopefully I will be able to just finish the two extra, uh, the two stairs that are still remaining to be done. And I'm going to still have to do the drywall next to the stairs. So that's going to be the challenge. And I'll film that piece. I'm probably not going to film the, uh, the stairs again because there are just so many different parts I did already. It's the same old, same old. It's kind of cloudy today, which makes me not want to do anything, but I have to make myself get going because, as I said, I do have a goal, and if I don't go, then I will end up just eating all day or doing something that doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> so, here we go. Um, I'm probably going to just speed this up. So you, you can just see maybe the view of my trip. I'm still in town, so to speak. It's, it's a small town I live in. And once we get to the, the rural area, you'll see that it's a really pretty, pretty drive. So I kind of enjoy going out to the farmhouse even though it's a little bit of a, a drive. The drive itself is very satisfying. in a different county and I'm taking the back roads I could have taken the highway 
same way, but I just enjoy the back roads better. And actually this way, it's I think it's a couple of miles shorter to get there. But time buys is the same amount of time because the speed limits. <clears throat> So this past week, except for the holiday itself, um, I've done a few things around the house. Um, one of the things I've done is started to clean up my basement in a way that I gathered up everything that has not been used for years and years and years and they're still in good shape. And I put it up on Facebook and eBay to sell very cheap. Uh, the point is not really to make money on any, anything, it's just to give it to people who really want it instead of just giving it away for free. Um, because if you put it up for free, people take it and they might not even need it. They just maybe want to reset it or whatever. So again, there were a few items that I sold already. Um, for example, I had some smoke detectors that I bought for the farmhouse and it came in a four pack in a box and once you open that box itself, which I did, um, you cannot return it. So, but they're still good, you know, new and um, usable. So I, I put that up, I, I got almost half of my money that I spent on it back, so I did that on eBay, I believe. And what else? Um, there was an old guitar that's been sitting in my basement for at least, I don't know, 20 years. So I sold that really cheap uh, as well, very good deal to the person who bought it. So. So the money that I'm going to get out of all this, it's going to go back to um, other things that I may want to fix that, again, just been sitting around my house and um, just in the basement being pushed around or in, in my closet just being stored. Uh, one of these things I'm working on is an old clock and I'm going to make a video about that. Um, I looked into the parts that I need cost me about 50 bucks so yeah those type of things that I wasn't gonna spend money on before I'm just gonna use up my money that I make the little money that I'm gonna make on my sales of my junk essentially so I did a little bit of a closet cleaning just very high level just pulled out things that I know I'm not gonna ever use uh, I got some shoes in my closet that I bought and never wore. I had two, two pairs of those. What a shame. I don't know what I was thinking about buying those because there were just never occasions where I can actually wear them. And I had some old watches that I was just holding on to because they're really, they were really nice watches that <coughs> that were gifts and I know I'm never gonna want to wear it again because I just it's not my style anymore um, my taste has changed so I'm selling those as well so whoever has a hobby to restore these old vintage watches they can do that um, in the basement, I've been cleaning as well. Uh, again, I just pulled out major stuff that I know I'm not going to need and I want to just get rid of. And anything that I know it would not sell, um, like clothes and shoes that have been used already but it's still good, I'm going to donate. And then I started cleaning one part of the basement. So what I'm, I'm doing is really just putting into um, effort just to kind of go through everything, um, take everything off the shelves, and then um, group them together where, where it 
make sense and I can easily find them because my, my biggest problem is that uh, things get shuffled around and dumped and mixed up and uh, when I need something like a particular screw or a particular piece of plastic uh, spacer or something, uh, I cannot find them and I, I know I had it then I end up buying new stuff and then I end up with duplicates. So anyway, um, the purpose of the cleanup of my basement is really uh, easy access to what I need. Again, find things that I never used. I just got it for whatever reason or I don't use it any, any longer, such as I have a, a circle saw that I'm going to be selling because I used it one time. And I found it a little bit too aggressive for what I need or for my style of woodworking. And as you saw me, I'm using um, a jigsaw for all of my cuttings. So that's what's going on. So cleaning up is not finished. I'm still going to continue with that. And I'll do that during the week in my spare time. But on the weekend, I want to do bigger projects where you know I can uh, leave my home and just get out. <laughs> I've been cooped in with my cold and uh, other things so let me adjust you so you can actually see where we're going. through a high-speed section of the highway or byway whatever this is and we're gonna drive through some old towns historic towns and farmland I've been really anxious about getting started with my garden or gardens so to speak I do have multiples that I maintain um, one being at my house and the other one is being at my cabin and of course the farmhouse garden as well I like to help with that uh, so I've been really wanting to start seeds but I had to stop myself because it's just too early the last frost day here where I can safely plant out my tomatoes and peppers and so on it's May 15 and even for my onions and potatoes it's really not time yet to even think about it because it's just too far away I did put 
put up my steamed potatoes that I saved from the various gardens from last year. Um, and I, I just put them into trays where they can start chilling, meaning they can start growing um, sprouts. Because if you keep it in bags, which I, I do in paper bags, what they try to do is they try to sprout anyway, even in a dark place. And they're gonna have very spindly sprouts that will break off and it's just not gonna be any good. So you really have to put them out into the light, not, not in the window or anything like that, just in a light place, um, spread them out so they don't rot and let them start sprouting. And they, they sprout really slow then. Uh, it's amazing how they're not trying to fight for the light because they have very little available light and they're gonna have like little stubby um, sprouts. That's gonna go really well. So that's what I've done as well, getting ready for the garden. I really have to go through all my seeds and make sure that I know what I need to still buy. I know I have to buy onion seeds because I usually just use those up every year. But I do have other seeds that are still good, so I don't want to over purchase anything that I don't need to because my first instinct is that oh, I want to buy all these seeds, but it's gonna end up being just stored anyway, so I gotta make an inventory of my seeds and write down what I need and I'm not gonna even order them just yet um, I'm gonna try to buy some stuff directly in the store but, but there are some varieties that I like where they don't have that in the stores so I have to buy online I'm gonna try a new pepper variety this year in addition to what I normally grow and as far as tomatoes I think I have all the varieties that I, I want to grow I will need to buy parsnip uh, seeds and kohlrabi seeds. Um, those don't store well, even if I have any, and I don't think I do. Uh, you have to get fresh uh, for you to get really good germination rate. And then I'm gonna have to look at other things that, again, I may want to grow. I have a seed catalog from last year that I'm gonna just look at, although I'm pretty sure they're gonna send me new seed catalogs, they always do. Um, but just not even because I'm gonna buy it from there, I just wanna get some ideas as to what's out there, what new varieties are out there. I do save my own seeds as well, so again, uh, to look at that and see, make sure I saved enough seeds. I know I have enough bean seeds. I have enough corn seeds, I believe. I will save that um, from the farm garden. But I may want to buy more um, and things like that. So at least I can do some gardening stuff inside my house uh, without having to start any seeds yet. Some of these people who live here are Amish and they do sell their own products. Um, you can buy honey around here, eggs, and of course um, vegetables during the summer. They have some little stands that they put out um, up front and um, I think you just buy things with the honorary system where you just leave the money there. and true to their original 
design. Like this one here looks like it was added to later. Um, it's definitely a lot of farms out here. Um, there's a cattle farm on the left. Let's be turned here to the left. spring and fall you can definitely smell the manure that they spread on these fields which I actually enjoy because I know that that's how organi organic farming should be and I'm, I'm glad that they're doing it and not spraying chemicals to fertilize here also a farm market you can do the self-service I guess for eggs mostly at this time of the year been looking at during the holidays and slow times um, I've been looking online for farms on sale and especially around this area it's rare where you can buy a smaller farm they usually come in like huge sizes like 20 30 uh, 50 100 acres and of course, those are really expensive. Um, they're over a million dollars. So I've been looking at things where I can afford something that it doesn't even matter whether it's it already has a house on it or if it has an old house on it that needs to be fixed up or it has a nice house on it. It doesn't matter to me. What really matters is that it has a nice view, like on the hills. I would like to be like high enough where I can see uh, far away in the horizon. And also, it's not really too much out outside of civilization. Let's just put it that way. So, luckily, and I don't know if it's luckily or not, but there is farm, not a working farm, but a farm land and a nice house on the farmland. It's for sale right now. And there are two houses that, there are two houses that from um, our farmhouse. So I got really excited about that. Uh, it's not even on the market yet, but it's listed already um, on the website. So I actually met the person who lives there before and I may just drive by today and just take a look how it's being advertised um, but it's really nice so it's 25 acres which is a decent size um, it's a little bit bigger than I, I would like but the location the location cannot be beat 
and it has a beautiful house. They really did a good job remodeling it. It looks like the roof is new and the siding looks like in good shape and uh, inside is really nice. Looks like the kitchen was updated not too long ago. And it's just, it wouldn't need any work uh, probably as far as the house goes, but they haven't done any farming. There's no sign even of the garden, um, so they were not one of those people that actually had <coughs> had an interest of growing stuff, which is kind of weird. Why would you want to have such a big land, right? Maybe it was inherited or something. I don't know, but it's just a big lawn right now. <laughs> so the last thing I want to do is mow 25 acres every weekend. And I would definitely want to set up gardens and if, if it goes well, I would actually set up a garden for, for sale, selling vegetables and flowers and that, that's actually my dream to have such a situation. So actually we might just drive by there before it gets dark. So the farmhouse is gonna be on the immediate right when we turn. Then we'll be back. So let's go ahead and, and look at that farm that I talked about. So this is the immediate next neighbor and then right after this is the farm that's for sale. are from here definitely beautiful you can you can see the mountains all the way down there making a dizzy hit so. all right we're gonna go go to the farmhouse now and start getting some work done. I'm not gonna probably film most of it. Um, we'll see how much space I have on my phone. One of these houses, I talked to the lady who lives here um, on the right hand side, and I can't remember which one it was. I think this next one. right here and she talked about selling her house last year but it never went on sale so I don't know if she was serious about that
wanted to show you that that farm that we looked at that's for sale it actually comes out all the way to that white fence that you see all the way to the main road so part of it really is right next to us so the only thing is in between the two things is this next door neighbor up on the hill so the location is really ideal